Today, friends, I've got some sweet techniques that help you collaborate with other users. So let's get cracking. So these steps work anywhere, but the place I want to highlight right now is my Patreon site. You can find it with the bit.ly I'm showing right here. This is what it looks like as a free member. What I want to highlight today, though, is the chats. These are free chat areas that we can all use to help solve problems. So what I want to highlight right now is that unlike Facebook, there's no algorithm. You can see all the projects. When you find a project, you can click on it. And over here, you can click and find all the potential solutions and questions that have been passed on. If you want to create your own new one, you can click right here and create it. I do want to let you know that after you create it, you need to click this area so that you can add the other replies down below. That's what keeps them in the threads. This is the design wishlist category. If you switch to share your designs, this is where users can show off amazing projects. And of course, you can give them reactions and comments. I want to quickly highlight this project right here. It is a nifty project. I gave a couple tips and they didn't work. And then right now I am going to share a starter project. This is something that you can do to help users work with your projects as well. This is a sample of the project Allison was asking about. I simply took the sketch tool. I'll double click and I traced an SVG. If we double click this, you can see the points. Of course, they've got curves. I've got lots of tutorials that teach this. I'll put it up here if you want the tutorial. Once you're finished with it, you can hit sketch. And then I added notes to explain that I simply duplicated the red one and I just changed it so the stroke settings were to the outside in a width of two and a width of four so that we got the fun colors. Now this does not solve Allison's project. She would still have to do the steps I mentioned where you send it to Fusion to make this round. But I wanted to show you this technique. If you want to get a user started or if you're asking for help on a project, once you get it to a spot that you want to share, you can go back here and click the properties and you can switch to what's called the share link. Once you do this, save the changes, click on the button. And when you copy this link, everybody gets an exact copy of what you started. If you're a teacher and you want to give a template, this is a fantastic way to give the template. In my case, I am going to return to my Patreon community. Once again, I'm going to click on Allison's question and I'm going to go to the bottom and let her know that this is a starter solution or template for making the project. Notice you do have to scroll down to find it. And I will show you quickly, I have bounced to my other user. If we scroll to the bottom, there is the template. When you click on that, you may notice right up here, it is set as a share link. It also is set to copy and tinker. So don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad, give a reaction before you copy and tinker. When you click that button, you get an exact copy of the design, yet the original is untouched. You could do anything you want to this and it won't mess mine up. So it allows users to work on your project while you still keep your original. How cool is that? Before I wrap up the video, I just want to bounce back to the design questions and design wish list. There are several fun ones that have been solved lately. Of course, same gig. You click out here so you can see all the messages and check out the cool solutions. As we scroll down further, I want to highlight this one. Fun, Lazy Susan project. You can see here are the test projects I came up with and then I did the share link just like I showed you. So you can grab my concept project. And of course, add some upgrades. So as I wrap up, friends, once again, I want to say thanks to Allison for the question. Love these sort of projects, and it's a fantastic way to use the messaging area on my Patreon. Of course, I also want to highlight there are other amazing areas you can use this. Facebook has a lot of groups. You can also use the Reddit group, and sharing your links like this is extremely valuable. Finally, friends, I want to say thanks to everybody that support me via YouTube memberships. There are three different levels of support, starting as low as $5 a month. Of course, with any level of support, you get early access to videos. I do also want to say thank you to everybody supporting me via my Patreon group. Love how that group is growing. Of course, I just highlighted the messaging area. It is fantastic. You can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.